Hello and welcome to History Pod. Today's episode has been voted for by the very valued supporters of the podcast. If you'd like to join this esteemed group to vote on future episodes and get access to some History Pod goodies, as well as to help keep the daily episodes like this one being researched, recorded, and released, you can find details at patreon.com forward slash history pod or on the Facebook page. Just search for History Pod. On the 18th of March, 1834, the Tolpuddle Martyrs were sentenced to transportation to Australia for swearing a secret oath as members of a friendly society. The Industrial Revolution, combined with the first of the Enclosure Acts, had seen the earnings of poor farmers plummet. With the radicalism of the French Revolution still fresh in people's minds, the swing riots of the early 1830s had seen agricultural workers turn to violent protest. Adding to tensions between landowners and workers, the repeal of the Combination Acts in 1825 effectively legalised the creation of trade unions. By 1834, farm workers in the Dorset village of Tolpuddle were being paid just seven shillings a week, three shillings less than the average agricultural labourer's wage. Six men consequently formed the Friendly Society of Agricultural Labourers, under the leadership of George Lovelace, in protest at their reduction in pay. Part of the society's initiation ceremony involved swearing a secret oath, something that was illegal under the Unlawful Oaths Act of 1797. Local magistrate and landowner James Frampton was consequently able to take the six men to court, where they were convicted by a jury of twelve landowners and sentenced to seven years' transportation by Judge Sir John Williams on the 18th of March. 1834. The sentence was greeted with uproar from the British public, who collected 800,000 signatures calling for their release. 100,000 people took part in a march calling for the same, and two years after their conviction, the new Home Secretary, Lord John Russell, granted them pardons. The Tolpuddle Martyrs eventually returned home, but five of the six soon left England again and emigrated to Canada, while the sixth, James Hammett, stayed in Dorset until his death in 1891. 